imagine this cart accelerating down the ramp without any friction acting against it. Okay, let's draw a force diagram. You have weight going straight down, weight going straight down. Normal force perpendicular to the ramp. And then there's no friction. Those are all the forces. We need to tilt the axes. So X is parallel to the ramp and Y is perpendicular to the ramp. Draw back, straight back from the normal force always, right? Straight back from the normal force. These two should be equal. That is FGY and downhill is FGX. And there's your angle of 32 degrees. The same angle as that one, as long as you drew back from the normal force. Okay? Now, to find the acceleration, that's what we're looking for. The, the acceleration is in the x axis, the net force in the x axis is equal to FGX. FGX equals FG times the sine of the angle. FG equals, it's 2 kilograms, so 2 kilograms times 9.8 equals 19.6 newtons. So FGX equals 19.6 times the sine of 32 degrees, which, let me get this, because I calculated it already, that came out to be 10.4 Newtons. By the way, in the y-axis, we'll need this later, FGY equals FG cosine theta, which is 19.6 times, whoops, times the cosine of 32 degrees, which came out to be 16.6 newtons, but we don't really need that. So to find the acceleration, acceleration equals net force in the x-axis all over mass. That equals 10.4 all over 2, which equals 5.2 meters per second squared.